Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to fix another problem within our house that we constantly have. This is our pantry. The pantry door, usually you don't see in that room because the pantry door usually sits like this. People walk in, they walk out. So um, we fix the lighting in here. So when you walk in, the lights go on and then 30 seconds later, lights go off. So we fix that problem. But this door sits open constantly. And frankly, it drives Holly crazy. So what I did is I ordered basically a self-closing hinge. So when someone walks in, they better pick what they want and the door is gonna close behind them. If it locked, it'd be even funnier, but we're not gonna do that yet, right? quite yet. But so I ordered this hinge. So this is just an Amazon basic. So it seems like Amazon makes everything um, now. So it's a three and a half inch hinge and you can adjust the closing on it. So, you know, it will self-close. And so this door will constantly stay closed. So I doubt this will make Holly super happy, but it'll be a step in the right direction. So we're gonna, Give this a shot and we're gonna install this and then we're gonna do the little adjustments. So there's some adjustments that you can make on this to make the, you know, to make, obviously if your door's heavier, it's solid wood, which ours is not. But if it was, you'd need more strength to close the door. So it closes all the way like this one does. So we're gonna install this, we'll make some adjustments and we'll take you along with the journey. And if this works, then we might do it other places, you know, like every door upstairs. So when you walk upstairs, they're nice, everything's closed. I don't know, possibilities are endless. So let's get started. So the first step, have goals. So they say no parent is more delusional than the one that sets chores for their children and expects them to be done. Um, so anyways, welcome to the delusion. Um, so we have that. And then the true first step is removing your old hinge. This of course would go faster with a power screwdriver, but frankly, it's not that big of a project. So just do it real quick here. So you're just gonna remove all six screws. There's three in the door, three in the side. Um, they shouldn't really be that big a deal to remove. And then once you're done, um, and I'm doing this on the middle hinge. So this is a really pretty tall door. So, I mean, you could do it at the bottom if you wanted it at the bottom or whatever, but for us, we're gonna do it at the, the middle one because it's a tall door and we want to use some of the leverage from the middle. So I actually went right across the door now because it seems like that would be the most logical place where we want it to actually close and lock. So obviously, well I shouldn't say obviously, there, there's different hinge sizes. So this is a three and a half inch hinge and as you can tell from it, mine's rounded. So a lot of the doors have these type of rounded hinges but you can have some that are squared off as well. You wanna check that before you order. So don't blindly just order the one that I'm putting in the link in the description below. Don't blindly order that, check what your hinges are before you do that. That way you make sure you get the right hinge uh, for your door and if you have cutouts like this, like see there's kind of indention cutouts for mine. Um, you get the right ones, that's the goal. So next step is super easy, we're gonna screw in the new hinge, but you wanna make sure that the, the top side of this, cause this has got adjustments, you wanna make sure the top side of that's up. It just makes it easier to make the adjustments when you can actually see what you're doing and your Allen wrench isn't falling out. Okay, so once you actually put the six screws in, you know, from the previous hinge and put this hinge in here, so then you wanna make an adjustment to it, cause it's just gonna act as a normal hinge until you do. So what you need to do is an Allen wrench that comes with it, you put it in the top, and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it, and you're gonna put one of these little pieces in. So this little piece will hold the spring um, with more tension on it. So you're gonna go clockwise on this. So you put the Allen wrench in, you go clockwise, you put it in to add the tension to it, and then pull it out, and then you can do a couple things. Like I'll probably trim this flush because frankly it's annoying that it sticks out, although it's close to the door, shouldn't cause any problems, but just from my own, you know, Whatever, I'll trim that shut or trim that short. But then, if you notice, this is a 10 foot door. Now, the door will almost close itself. Because of the height of this door, they say that if you, if you want it to actually close and latch, like close, close, then uh, because of the height of this door, I'll likely need to add a second hinge to give it enough oomph to get it to close all the way. So, Really what I wanted it to do is not sit like this. So may, I may or may not add that second one. I'm okay with it getting at least to this part of closure so it's not just sitting open. But I might add a second one here and then if I add a second one here, we should be good where the door itself will close all the way and it'll actually latch like this. So that's it. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'll put a link in the description below to this um, hinge that I got. It's about 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, that's really it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.